as I am Dr. Santosh Rai. I am a consultant radiologist at University Hospital in NHS, is based in West Midland. I have been experienced in running FRCR courses for over the last 15 years and my plan was to give an introduction to FRCR exam and other radiology exam and mainly to help the candidates about how to approach an exam because I have been looking at all the previous information of exam but I didn't find anything much on the viva part to help the examiners uh, help the candidates because all the candidates have to come to practice the viva because it's daunting and they feel a bit more scared about the vivas. The other part of the exam like long cases and rapid reporting there's a lot of material out there to analyze and learn from it but I think there is not much material on viva and to how to get better in viva. So I was thinking to get an introduction on how to give an viva exam properly and then my plan is to put some 15 minute shots of all the cases what you get in viva because viva is normally a four set of examiner for Royal College of UK which is FRCR 2B course exam and you get four vivas of 15 minutes each and during the exam you are just shown films as much you can get through it, maybe five to six each station and there are four stations back to back and you finish the exam. There's not much, you need to practice a lot before you get through it properly. So my aim was to give you 15 minutes of VIVA exam flavor. In that I was planning to actually show you films which can come in the exam. Mainly it could be a static film or a in cross-sectional cross imaging where you can scroll. Nowadays the exam is based on, since the COVID time is based on online. And I think it is, being online is a bit more easy. You don't face the examiner face to face, you do on a computer. So you see the examiner in your computer screen in a small corner. You see the screen with the images. Either it could be a single image or a multiple image or it could be a scrolling image. You are given the task to, you're, you're shown the film, you're told the history, then you're told to talk about it. And as you talk and go through it, you can ask for next examination and next modality if you need. If they think it's right, they will show you. If you can ask the permission to scroll, if it is a scrolling image, they will share the mouse, you can scroll it. And this goes for 15 minutes. In that time, you have no feedback. You don't know what's going on. You just go, go through films. You try as a candidate to get the maximum number of films you can. And your main objective is to get through as many films as you can. Each films are marked separately. So if you're shown four cases, the four cases are marked separately. You have to pass each of the case separately. So suppose you do very good in first film and you don't do as good in the second film, that doesn't mean that it is going to affect your third film at all. In the end is the average of all the six films or five films you have shown, all the cases, and the average pass mark is six. Marking is between four to eight. Four being a very poor answer where you can't even see the findings properly, you are not described, you are on the dangerous part, you get four, you don't get zero on it. But you can waste a lot of time on that film, even getting four. A poor answer is where you are very slow in spotting the abnormality. You have a very poor differential diagnosis and you need help in to get an answer. A good answer is something where you can spot the abnormality and you have given the principal diagnosis and some of the differential diagnosis. You get a six, which is a pass mark. And a good good answer to get seven and eight, you need to discuss. You are very on the spot. You're given the diagnosis. You're given good differential if required. And you're shown the management skill if you have, because this is a clinical radiology exam. And this is where you get a very good marks. So depending on how you performed in all the four VIVAS station, you have to get an average of six to pass the VIVA exam, which is like station 1, station 2, station 3, station 4, maybe 20 films 
and if you fa pass in about 10 or 12 films you are really done well actually and nobody feels very comfortable after the exam because majority time you have not done well in all the films and you think oh you're not done well but overall the average is what is counted too so my main aim was to give you some background how the college runs the exam this plan of this channel is for, for other students also who can also are giving radiology exam anywhere else because in the end it's a imaging modality you have to see the films you have to know the diagnosis sometimes it's photogenic sometimes it is what you've seen before you know the answer but for royal college you need a bit of a different type of description that's why we are trying to help you guys so that you get some idea you feel comfortable while preparing exam you know how to prepare for exam and how to get better at it because there's no much material unless you ask your seniors to train you you ask your colleague to train you because this is a talking exam you have to talk whether it's on a computer or otherwise. So this is where we'll be giving you some tips on how to get through the Viva techniques on a PDF file. And this is to help you to get comfortable, how to prepare. So the plan is to show you some films in the future, in the future episode where it will be six to seven films each episode. We'll go through the films and then tell you how to approach and there will be a bit of a two minutes teaching session in there to show you what you should have done right what is not to do how the film was complicated or not how to get through a difficult film and this is our aim so i hope you guys do subscribe to our channel mainly for all the radiology exam going students all over the world so that they can help themselves to prepare and get better at it in the future and also tell your other colleagues how to how it was helpful or not we'd also like to know some comments and how things are and how we can improve on this i hope this will be helpful and thank you